All right, today is the 31st of March, 2005, here in Kissimmee, Florida, at Warbird Adventures, and Larry and I are flying the World War II Advanced Trainer, the T-6 Texan. How you doing, Larry? I'd be fine, thank you. Good. We're adding power, we're going to move out. And it looks like we're going to do a little three-ship formation today. Gears down. Check the hydraulics. All right, we're going to do an engine run up here. I'm going to bring the RPMs up to 1600. At 1600, I'll pull the propeller lever all the way back, and I'm looking for a 200 RPM drop. And all the way forward. We get a rise in manifold pressure, a decrease in oil pressure. That's good. Fixtures full rich, up to 2,000 RPM. Zero five five one seven. All right, if you would, close your canopy. Two more notches there. Yeah, just pull it in towards you and slide it forward. And one more, right about there somewhere will be good. All right, the flaps are up, the gear's down. That's the other T6. They're doing a good engine run there. Left tank selected. Prop forward, mixture forward, altimeter set, mags on both. And we have good oil pressure, oil temperature, and fuel pressure, so we're good. We'll check the flight controls. Contact the tower. Nine tower, nine triple six Bravo's over the water tower. Test nine triple six Bravo, report midfield right downwind. Midfield right downwind, one right one five. Test nine triple six Bravo. Thank you, with tower Texan three in flight. Request departure. Texan three, clear for takeoff on course. Clear for takeoff, Texan three in flight. All right. Runway looks clear. Gateway tower, 440 X-ray is about 10 miles to southwest uh, for a full stop with AWOS. Cadet 440 X-ray, gateway tower, report over the Point Sienna water tower, right traffic to runway 15 today. Report the tower, right traffic for 15, 440. Power's coming up. with me, put your feet up pedals, heels on the floor, and take the stick with your right hand and just bear onto it, and kind of get used to flying the airplane with me. Now for the camera. And look left again. What I want you to do, Larry, is just be real smooth on the controls. Yeah, how about a loose formation here? And 
we're climbing out. Everything's looking good. And I'm going to reach back for my camera. Four will come out on the left side. Okay. Why don't you stack a little higher there, Craig, and I'll take pictures of both of you. All right. All right, I've got my camera out. It's a shuffle, and then uh, Chuck and I can uh, take our pictures. All right. Look left for the camera again and smile. Smile with the mic. All right, got it. Okay. Ah, look back to the right. Isn't that nice? Oh, boy. <laughs> Do you want to shop around me or are you going to wait uh, to we'll go around top? Oh, we'll chase you. Go ahead. You'll take lead? Yeah, I've got the lead. I'll just stay on the controls with me. How's that look to you? I've never been this close to another one in flight, actually. <laughs> one of those things they don't like you to do with business. <laughs> right. Oh, we do this every day. Chuck, is your customer ready to fly? Absolutely. Good deal. See you in a bit. Are you guys finished? Yeah. Okay. All right. If you would, just fly the airplane nice and... What do you think of Gary's formation flying? Got it. Real good. All right. Just stay real nice and smooth like... To the right. <laughs> All right. I'm going to open my canopy. It'll be a little loud. But All we'll right. just maintain this direction for a little bit. All right. How's that? That's not too bad, is it? No, no bother at all. All right. And this is wings level right about there. Okay. Yeah, your uh, artificial horizon here is a little off. Yeah, we just use uh, the horizon itself. There you go. Just a real shallow right turn. Not so much turn. Straighten it up there. Fine. Right. Okay, left turn. Left turn, please. And make sure you're looking forward while you're turning left. Or looking to the left. Line up with the road. Yeah, that's uh, south heading. That would be real good.
How's that look to you? Wonderful fight. <laughs> Out the rivet. Now he's going to turn left. I just bumped my head. Okay. <laughs> Fun yet? We've been having fun since we turned the key on. <laughs> There's not as much uh, turbulence from the wing vortex as I would have expected. Well, take the stick. You have to hold right stick to stay here. See? It wants to roll us to the left. Uh, it takes cross control. It takes right stick here because it, the vortex is trying to roll us to the inside. And here it takes a lot more pressure. If we move over to the left, then it's trying to roll us to the inside here. How are the uh, flaps looking, Chuck? Oh, they look good. That's still a faster airplane. No drooping anywhere. Yeah, it takes a lot more power for us to stay up with him. There, it's just not, it's not a, it's not a sharp, I guess. Yeah. Constant. Well, that airplane has less drag for some reason. Get a little tighter in formation here. South corner, southeast corner of the lake. Look to your one o'clock and low, Tom. Ah, right, hello. I see you guys heading southeast. Field in Texas? <laughs> That's exactly right. Good call. I haven't seen that airplane in the air since uh, the, the 13th of August. Was that uh, when the hurricane? Damage? Yep, when the hurricane came through. That airplane's got all new tail, two wings on both sides. Chuck, right, are you going to break up? Yeah. Yeah, you're ahead of me a little bit. Okay, we're going to level. Okay, I'm directly behind you guys. About a mile. Yeah, four is still a fast airplane. <laughs> All right. Give us a right turn, if you would. I've got the power coming back as we speak. And uh, you have the airplane that's off our right wing. The, the number 
floor plane we've been following. You want to trail back behind him? Um, yeah, just keep him in sight. Alrighty, don't let him get away from you visually. If that means uh, lowering the nose, that's fine. What I'm going to do is put my camera away. So, yeah, if he turns, you can turn. And we'll just keep it on him, see what he does. Alrighty. Ah, did you lose him? So what do you think of this stuff so far? I like it. Yeah, you got a big bonus. We haven't done a three-ship formation since the summer. Early summer. I'm glad I was right on time. Yeah, everything worked out well. Excellent. If you want, uh, you can turn to the right 90 degrees. Look down the right wing first. Ah, he just did a roll up ahead of us. There you go. Just follow this road over here to the right. That actually happens to be a heading of west. Major highway here? Yeah, well, I'm not even sure what that one is. It goes east and west. Forward pressure. Okay, look by your left leg inside the cockpit. There's a trim wheel here. Got you it. see me moving it? You see that? Got it. It's not like a Cessna. It's very sensitive. So move that forward or backwards, whatever you need to do to take the pressure off the stick. So first, fly the airplane with the stick, if, and level flight is going to be about right there. Right there. All right. So let the airplane speed up just a little bit, level flight, and then go ahead and trim the pressure out of the stick. And let's turn right again, 90 degrees. So look that way first and pick something out to turn to. Then head that way. Excellent. Well, we still have another 40 minutes of flight. We can do anything you like. We can even do aerobatics if you want to. That's entirely up to you. We'll see a little bit of mild aerobatics toward the end here. Oh, okay. Yeah, no problem. Now you have your nose up. It's given us a little bit of a climb, which is fine. I just want you to be aware of that. The airplane is very pitch sensitive. And you can roll out right here. Go back to wings level. And then... All right, those were just normal turns. Let's do some steep turns. Let's go to the left and make it 180 degrees, if you would. Steep turn to the left. Roll all your bank into it at first. More left rudder while you do that. Excellent. And as we're turning left, let's be looking left out in front of us as we're turning that direction. Let's see if we're... so far? I'll take one. <laughs> it's a very nice flying airplane. It's meant to emulate planes like P-40s and P-38s. Very sensitive on the controls. Alright, we're climbing again. We're up to 7,000. It's really easy to, when you can't see the horizon, a defined horizon, to make your uh, nose come up or down, change your pitch, which changes your speed. Right, yeah. All right. Well, you think you got a good feel for the airplane? I, I like it. I can do. I can do straight level and uh, you know up to steep bank turn. Okay. Good. Let's do something else called a wing over. It's no big deal. It's just a lazy eight. Lower your nose just a little bit. Good. That's level flight right there. All right. For the wing over, just stay on the controls with me. What we do first is pitch up. Raise the nose like this. As we're pitching up, we're going to start a turn to the left. We're going to leave the controls right here now and just relax the pressure. Let the nose fall through the horizon about halfway around a 180 degree turn. Now as the nose is down, we're going to start to speed up. We don't want to speed up too fast, so we're going to pull back on the stick and start to level the wings. Sort of like that. My timing was off. I didn't unbank the airplane soon enough. That's basically a wing over to the left. One to the right like this. We pitch up. Pitching up slows us down. We're going to turn to the right. Lots of right rudder and a climbing right turn. Right about here, we'll just sort of relax the pressure on the stick. Let the nose start to fall through the horizon on its own. Don't want to leave the nose too, uh, down too long. We're trading altitude for air speeds. We pull back on the stick, level the wings like so. 
How was that? You That's the longest it? time I've been in uh, that light weight list in an aircraft. Yeah? You want to give it a shot? Walk me through one more. Okay. Well, we'll go to the left. We'll line up with these roads in front of us. They're going basically due south. All right. To the left is like this. We start pitching up. Pitch, pitch, pitch. As we're pitching up, we're going to start the left turn. And right about here, we're just going to relax the pressure on the stick. Let the airplane's nose start to drop as we're losing speed. Let it come down below the horizon. Don't leave it down for too long. Start to pull back on the stick so we don't go too fast and level the wings at the same time. All it is is a climbing and descending 180 degree turn. Like so. Very nice. And let's do one to the left. Start pitching up. Keep pitching. As you're pitching, start your left turn. Keep pulling back on the stick though. Now just start to re relax some of the pressure on the stick. And start to pull back on the stick now and level the wings. We didn't quite get around, we didn't get enough nose high pitch up attitude. And keep pulling. See our speed coming up? The way we slow down is to pitch back up. But just go to level. We'll do it to the left and make your pitch up a little higher this time. There you go. Keep pitching up and start your left turn while you're pitching. Keep pulling back. Pull back. Pull back on that stick. Keep pulling back. There you go. Now release some of the pressure. Don't let the nose sit down for too long. Start coming back on the stick. Yeah, now look at your airspeed. Our nose is really pitched down. Airspeed comes up. Yeah, what do you think of that? I think it passed through my mind is operating limitation. <laughs> um, we try not to go over 200 miles an hour. They say the you get structural damage at 240. So uh, that's one thing. If your speed's coming up like that and the airplane's starting to get loud, just stay on the controls very lightly. What we're looking for is about 170 miles an hour. So the nose is down so we can build up airspeed. The faster we go, the more left rudder we need. It's the left turning tendencies of the airplane. There's 160 or 165. Here's 170. And what we'll do next is pull back on the stick to raise the nose. Get the nose above the horizon, release the back pressure, and full left stick, just like this. All the way around, nice and slow. A little left rudder to help out on the end. Just <laughs> Okay. Yeah. Nice and smooth. Nothing abrupt. Another? You want to do another? Yeah, I'll follow you through on it. All right, let's turn around. Give us a left turn the opposite direction, heading us south. So you're okay with that then? Far so good. Ah, oh, very good. Just let me know how you're feeling. For 170. Uh, about like that. That'll get us there pretty quick. Right, 60, 165. A little left rudder as we're speeding up. There's 170. We're going to pitch up, get the nose above the horizon like this. Release the back pressure, full left stick. There we are. What do you think? Very good. Yeah, we just recover. Remember, we uh, dove for airspeed at the beginning of the maneuver, so we pitch up and get our altitude back when we're done with it. And you're on the controls. Very good. Do you think you're ready to try one? I need to settle for a couple minutes. Okay, you got it. You have the airplane. It's beautiful up here at 7,200. It is wonderful. Yeah, I think the clouds are moving in. I'm not familiar with the area as far as the chart goes. No restricted air spaces or... Well, we're just outside of Class B. It's off our right wing. Uh, that big lake over to our right that's under our right wing. Um, that's where Class B ends. So we're out here in the clear. Um, we're coming up on Haines City and 27, if you're familiar with the area. Not at all. Okay. Uh, we're southwest of Kissimmee in Orlando. Nice turn. That's a good use of rudder. I could be in the VFR pilot and keep the ground under me. <laughs> yeah. Well, we don't fly IFR, but sometimes, you know, the weather creeps in on you and you have to 
flying some stuff that you don't like. But, you know, that, that keeps you good. As long as you survive it. <laughs> yeah. Well, how does this compare to a Cetabria? A uh, Cetabria is for kitty. Oh, yeah. Say. Yeah, I've got lots of time in Cetabria. And yeah. the Cathlon, and Scouts, and Bird Dogs, and Cubs, and everything else. I could never get the one I flew to trim out. Always had to have bands on. Oh, really? Yeah, the ones I flew had been banged up a little bit, and uh, probably had bent wings, or, you know, something was not right about it, and it wouldn't fly straight. Down below us, between the left wing and the nose, is uh, Lake Wells Airport. They do skydiving over there, so we try to stay away. It's about as close as we'll get from that airport. I'd hate to ruin a skydiver's day. I have a friend um, who hauled sky. It's just so fun to fly the airplane and wander around. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly right. Well, my Cetabri was flown out of Van Nuys. Okay. Southern California. Yeah. I keep forgetting how low the canopy top is. <laughs> it's easy to hit. This is a good altitude for us, about 6,500. That'll keep us above the clouds. It's a little cooler here. Trim is if you want to trim it out. The three six and two is up, heading southwest. All right, we're still out here over Pierce. You know, we got about seven minutes left. Okay, yeah, we just doing uh, 30 minutes till the uh, aerobatic. Okay, well, if you want to join up, that's fine. All right, thanks. Yeah, I'd like to do that. We're heading to your way. All right, sounds good. Oh, would you like to do another formation flight? That's fine. Awesome. That's something you don't get to do every day. No. <laughs> yeah, stay above the clouds, and then we'll join you guys on the way in a little bit. All right, we're at 6,200. All right, very good. You look over to the right just a little bit. There's a town down there. It's just below the nose. We call that Triangle City. And let's turn left about 90 degrees or so. I think you have the airplane figured out. You're flying it really well. You're doing a great job. All right, thank you. And we'll just stay on this side of the lake over here to the right. We'll turn left just a little bit. The airspace is uh, at 6,000 right over there. We have to be below that before we head out over that lake. I used to tow banners with Satabrios. Hey, pardon? I used to tow banners with Satabrios. Oh, boy. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Oh, boy. <laughs> yeah, that was an interesting job. About here? Yeah. And we'll look for the other airplane in a few minutes to join up on. When you were towing the banners, what kind of airspeed were you doing? About 60 knots? Um, and sometimes slower. I flew some um, Scouts, which is a, a beefed up Cetabria, and I'd fly the Scout at about uh, 45 to 50 miles an hour. So we'd have the flaps out and uh, a lot of power, and how we'd, we'd how be about 5 miles an hour above stall. Have trouble keeping it cool that way? Yeah, actually, um, on hot summer days, we have a little trouble keeping it cool, but we put extra oil coolers on them and things like that. Help the engine cool down a little bit. Did you do it 
do a snag pickup, or did you uh, take off with a uh, rolling back over it? No, we always picked them uh, up by throwing a hook out and coming in and picking them up off the ground while we're flying. Pretty interesting to see. You feel pretty good, Gerald, when you get to the end of that? Yeah, you do. You have to really start pushing the stick forward so you don't stall the airplane. If you kept the nose up uh, when you're picking the banner up in the air and it gets heavy back there, you could definitely stall and there's nothing you could do to recover. It's a pretty dangerous line of work, actually. But it's a great way to build tailwheel time. Yes, it would. <laughs> Getting paid for it. Yeah, exactly. It's a good experience. All right, let's turn to the left. And we'll see how close they are. Yeah, just keep it inside Triangle City over here to the left. Stay inside this cloud valley? Yeah, just stay inside here. Yeah, section 2, what's your position? Okay, we come in, uh, we just passed in the north end of uh, Horsehead Lake through 5,000 feet and we're just to the east side of the lake now. Alright, uh, we'll go look for you. Alright, keep the turn up. See the big lake off the left wing? I will level off the yeah, 5,500 and stay just above the cloud. You're going to 55? Hey, we're at 55, yeah, just above the cloud. Alright, okay, turn left. And let's go down another thousand feet and turn left about 40, 50 degrees. And we're looking for the white T6. It's a, a little hard to spot since it's white. Uh, Talio, I have you visual. You're at uh, 11 o'clock. And I'm looking, no joy. It's just continue north. I see you heading towards the lake now. Alright, good. We're getting below 6,000, so that's good. Shadow left turn. They're to our 11 o'clock. Good, 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 good. Yo. Yeah, keep going straight. Again. <laughs> Have lots of energy. Oh, they turned around on us. All right, keep it in the turn. Keep coming around. And just stay about 5,500. And make your turn steeper. Let's go another 90 degrees. Yeah, he'll join up on us. All right, a little bit more to the left, if you would. Head towards the wooded area out in front of us. Yeah, over there is good. on us. I brought the RPMs up a little bit. And now we're just going to take pictures of us. All right. position up here. All right. Hey, guy and Ross. Oh, we might pop 
up into that cloud, so I ducked in there pretty tight, just in case uh, we don't want to lose sight of him. And we'll get on his video. All right, how's that? I'm good, man. Yeah, that was very good. Thanks for joining us. All right, we'll see you soon. All right, hey, thanks a lot. All right, what we're going to do is avoid this cloud here. And lose some altitude. You have the airplane. Turn left, if you would. And just keep our speed about 180 or so. And a little more to the left. Very nice. How you feeling? Hi, thank you. Good. If you need to trim it so there's no forward pressure on the stick, just so it's a little bit more nose down. Have you ever done one of those before? No. All right. Instead of doing the regular pattern, what we're going to do is uh, fly over the runway at 1,500 feet, and then we'll probably break to the right and spiral down a big 360-degree turn. Making a little king air or something like that. Uh, Texan 3, you're going to be uh, number 2 to the runway, following the Cessna right below. You can take it down to 1,000 right break, clear to land. All right, right break, number 2, clear to land, 1-5, Texan 3. And in between the two of you, I'll have a uh, helicopter crossing the runway at the approach end, just to let you know. Texan 2. All right, we're down to 1,000. See that Cessna short final? We're leveling off. I've pulled the power back a little bit. Helicopter 85 kilos. All right. Now we're going to turn to the right. 85 kilos pass behind him for C2 OFT. Use caution over there. And I'm looking for the airplane that was coming in to land. Okay, he's on short final. Senior 44 4 Juliet, contact departure. We'll see you later. Power's Look coming back. And down from the south PFR. We're going to get the gear down. We're just going to stay in the turn. I want you to look left for the camera and smile. Oh, out of pictures. All right, I see the helicopter. Power's coming back. I'm going to trim the airplane. All right, now we'll get the flaps down. All right, the gear is down. I'm confirming that. I see the locking pins. Now, it may seem that we're too high, too steep, but that'll work itself out. We're staying in the turn. Once again, gear down, flaps down, mixture rich, prop forward. Uh, Kissimmee Tower, Cessna 5190 Juliet. About seven miles to the southwest. Inbound, we would like to do uh, just a little boost of power there. Five one zero nine Juliet. Okay, it's five one nine zero Juliet. Report over the Point Sienna Water Tower. Right traffic to runway one five. Look for a beach bonanza inbound from the south. Well, you're just about sixty five tall on this. Yeah, yeah. how was that? Right <laughs> and we are looking out for the bonanza. You can open your canopy all the way if you like. We did a former here, yes. Yeah. Well, did you have a good flight? I enjoyed the heck out of that. <laughs> Very good. Wonderful, thank you. I'll pull the power back a little bit to slow down. And we'll go up here on the ramp and turn around. You got it here. Okay. Close, good proximity to everything. Yeah, no problem.